Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Ark Survival Evolved, the Explorer's Edition. Now this was developed and published by Studio Wildcard and also Reverb Publishing and usually if not on sale for the Explorer's Edition, which basically is all of the DLC included and there's a lot in it, plus all of the extra achievements, you'd be looking at around £75 which is quite the hefty whack to your wallet. But lo and behold, Xbox Game Pass comes to the rescue once again. So as I said then, the base game was already on Game Pass, but this is the new Explorer's Edition, which has got all of the DLC, all of the extra achievements included, so following this video should net you 1,500 gamer score in around one to two hours without having to do any of the extra, slightly annoying steps. This is a great game as well if you do like your survival type games. Otherwise, if it's just for the achievements you're here for, <laughs> then it's even better, right? <laughs> so the uh, game allows us to basically use console commands to enter certain things and we can get achievements to pop that way or get items that we need as well. There's not a whole lot of gameplay that goes on, but there are a few cheats that we need to input before we begin to make your whole life a lot tastier and easier. So you don't get fed up, then pooped out a big old dinosaur butt. So with that being said then, let us begin. And the first thing that we are going to wanting to be doing in the main menu is going in the menu, as we see now, under general, and then you've got to make sure that the admin login is checked, first of all, so definitely make sure that one is checked. Also, we need to check the show map player location. So admin login and show map player location, make sure they are checked. And then what we're going to be doing is heading to the uh, where it says Ark on the other side and then clicking on the island and that will get us to start. So this bit's not really important, but um, what I'm going to do is make my guy look like the biggest elephant monkey looking man this world's ever seen by basically extending everything to maximum. Because why the hell not? It's it's a, you know, decently weird survival game, so we might as well look, make him look like he's just, I don't know, come out of hospital with a load of bee sting, allergic uh, bee stings or something, you know? But again, you don't have to. You can literally just uh, carry on with the game. I'm just doing this for a laugh because, uh, I mean, look at the dude. <laughs> Looking good. Sadly, we've got no uh, penis enlargement option as well. So no matter how big and weird he's looking, his weenus still stays the same. Sad news for that guy. So once we begin there, we begin on this beautiful looking island. But again, you can have a look, uh, walk around, look around if you want to, but uh, well, I'm not going to be doing that. We're just going to be jumping straight in with what we need to do. So as soon as you start then, press the um, pause button, of course. Go into options first. And then under the options, what we need to do is make sure that the motion blur and the detail graphics are unchecked. So they are quite important. It just um, basically makes sure it just makes sure that the game sort of doesn't crash and lag like hell on you a little bit. Helps you in the long run. So motion blur and detail graphics, make sure they're unchecked, and then save and exit. And now we can go on to admin commands. Then, so again, once we're in the game, when you're at the pause menu, to open up the admin command box, you need to do this simultaneously. So all together, X, Y, left bumper, and right bumper. So that's X, X button, Y button, left bumper and right bumper. And then as you see, the admin command appears on top. Now, what you need to do then is obviously click on the big, large, open box space. And again, there's going to be a few cheats that we're going to do. So the first one we're going to be doing is leave me alone. And uh, Basically, what that's going to do is make all the dinosaurs and enemies leave you alone. It's pretty self-explanatory, but when you do that, you then go over to the admin command box, press the A button, and then the cheat will work. You don't actually hear a noise or anything like that, but you just type in what you've got to type in, click on the admin command button to the right of it, 
and it will work. So there's no indication that it has, but it should always work. God, obviously, so that you don't have anything else bad happen to you or anything. You know, you're basically invincible. And then what the next one, what we'll need to do then is infinite stats. Now this, of course, I mean, obviously you're in a survival game, so you can freeze to death, you can burn to death, you can starve to death, die of thirst, die of horniness. That's probably a thing as well. And none of that will happen to us. So they are the main three important things. Otherwise, for now, we can just crack on with it. So let's go ahead and unlock quite a few achievements. And the first one is Give All Explorer Notes. Now, what we have to do is the capital letters in G, A, E, and N. So Give All Explorer Notes, a capital letter on all of the words. And then what that's going to do is pop us. What have we got? Two, oh, six, eight, ten, at least 11 achievements then already to kick us off then. So that's always a nice start within the first six or seven minutes or so. It's probably worth just waiting around for a minute or two. Just wait until they've all unlocked and have a little double check. Make sure that they have all unlocked. <laughs> and of course, make sure that your volume isn't too loud because the game likes to give you a goddamn heart attack after everything you collect for some reason. Thanks. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> also, while we're just waiting for these achievements to pop, Obviously, there's going to be a lot of console commands through the game, so the use of the Smart Glass through the Xbox app on a smartphone or Windows 10 PC using a keyboard will save you quite a bit of time rather than doing it with a controller. So if you've only got a controller, then, you know, you can still do it, but it's probably worth if you can get the Xbox app up on your phone and you can actually type in the console commands obviously you can do it a hell of a lot quicker or doing it through a pc on windows 10 but there we go then so we should already have 11 out of 33 unlocked ginormously beautiful that is So then, after that little beautiful flurry of sexualness that just came towards our face, achievement-wise, we can now press the pause button again, and we can go back onto the next admin commands. By the way, the admin command box should always be up anyway. It only disappears when we've got to start a new game, so should be okay. But what we're going to type in now is cheat, all lowercase now, so cheat, space, set player pos, so S-E-T, P-L-A, Y-E-R-P-O-S space zero space three four and then zero 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 so four zeros space and then minus or a dash so that's very important that you put this in as well so the little dash and then four nine zero 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 so make sure to put in the uh, little dash before the 49000 there. And what that's going to basically do is give us the lowest depth achievement. And that's for reaching the bottom of the Arx Oceans and for getting the sort of lowest place that you can get. So, happy days then. Now we can, you don't actually have to unpause the menu. We can just go straight into the next cheat. So, back on to it then. Um, now we're... It's obviously worth just um, pressing the left or right bumper so you don't ac accidentally delete the whole thing. But this next one, you keep the cheat space set player pos. And next, it's space dash nine seven. And we'll just get the dash out of the way first. There we go. So nine seven five zero zero. And then space and then dash again. And then it's 51700, zero, zero. so 51700, zero, zero. space 46000, zero, zero. no dash on that one. And th this will basically spawn us at the highest peak of the game. 
Um, it won't actually unlock the achievement straight away, so you need to just walk around a little bit. Uh, but the highest peak is around there somewhere. So there we go. So have a little walk around and it will eventually unlock. And then if you die, then... <laughs> well, you've got infinite stats, bro. You are immortal. Which would make our life a hell of a lot easier, wouldn't it? Right then, so, next thing you have to do now is survive our first day and night. So, now what we have to do is um, delete it all, keep the cheat in right there. So, it's cheat, space, set time of day, all lowercase, all one word. So, cheat, space, set time of day, and then space again, and then 06, and then colon, which is the two dots on top of each other. Horny buggers. Three zero. <laughs> what am I on about? Colon again. And then zero zero. And then press again, press start, and then click the admin command just once. And then obviously what that should do is unlock the achievement right now. But if it does not unlock the achievement, you literally just have to type the exact same one in again. And then it should actually work then. So yeah, as you can see then, it obviously didn't work for me. So we'll just um, type, we'll just do it again. Have to type, but you do actually have to type it in again for it to be able to be recognized and for it to work. So, give it a few seconds, few seconds, few seconds, few se ah, there we go, so we've got it, your first day, dot dot dot, so that one's that out of the way now, we should be golden nuggets to go, now we can see some dinosaurs, some little, some of our little friends, so, back into the cheats then, what we need to do is use this code, so it's summon, S-U-M-M-O-N, again all lowercase, space, Rex, so R-E-X, underscore, you know, the little sort of line underneath the underneath the letters. You, everyone knows what an underscore is. Although British and American people may say it differently, but that's all good. Uh, character, <laughs> C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E-R. So summon, space, Rex, underscore, character, underscore again. And then B-P which spells BP, underscore C, and then that will summon a T-Rex, but as soon as the T-Rex spawns, what you need to do, uh, press, obviously, the admin command, what you need to do, as soon as you unpause it, give the game a second or two, and then pause it straight away, and then what you need to do, look up at the T-Rex, and then we need to type D-O-T-A-M-E, -D -O so do tame, D-O-T-A-M-E, ME and that basically tames the dinosaur and he doesn't want a janitorial bum us over the sink Which is always handy because he might have short arms, but I got his I bet he's got a massive anyway So we get our first achievement on um, For a dinosaur unlocked your first dino uh, You can name him if you want um, I do name him because I'm hilarious and I only call him Tiny Knob out of irony, because I bet he doesn't really have a tiny knob. Because he's a T-Rex, and... Well, you can't see it, I don't know where it would be, but... It, anyway, we're getting too caught up in where dinosaur penis would be. So, next up, <laughs> what we need to do now... Is, when you're looking at the dinosaur, type in Force Tame. All lower cap... Uh, all lower cases, so F O. R-C-E-T-A-M-E -E. That will obviously tame the dinosaur You know, that does what it says in the tin really And then what we can do is walk up to its leg, press the Y button Have a little walk around and that should unlock the Your First Ride achievement Like it's done right there And what it should also do is unlock the Rex Rider So you should get two achievements actually And there's the other one Bang on So 
So we're going to be doing a lot of riding on big old chunky things. Which, hey, we've all done in our life, and sometimes we're not proud of it. But there we go. So, <laughs> next up, get off your dinosaur then, and we need to be basically spawning another dinosaur. So, uh, it's a Gigantosaurus we need, so type summon, again, all lowercase is S-U-M-M-O-N, space, gigant, G-I-G-A-N-T, and then underscore. Oh, bloody emojis. Do my titting. Uh, character, again, so that's C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E-R. -A -A so, summon gigant character, underscore BP, underscore C. And then we'll need to do the same trick that we did with the T-Rex. So, as soon as it spawns, take a look up at it, and then press the pause button. So, you don't get, again, janitorial bummed over the sink by said dinosaur. It doesn't matter, it'll all hurt. Ooh, wild female. Females are wild. We all know that. Anyway, like I said, so look up, um, type in Force Tame once again, F-O-R-C-E-T-A-M-E, -E, Force Tame, and then you need to ride on the back of this Gigantosaurus before the T-Rex and the Gigant get it on, and, you know, sort of make you its little T-Rex biatch. So once you're off and everyone's happy then, the next thing we're going to do is basically get the maximum survivor achievement. So uh, that's basically for us reaching the maximum survivor level. So back into the cheats, type in add experience. So A-D-D-E-X-P-E-R-I-E-N-C-E, -E -E, add experience, and then space. It's nine 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 nine. so eight nines. Very important, eight nines, and then space zero, space zero. So add experience, space, eight nines, space zero, space zero. And then what we need to do now is press the B button to go into inventory. And where it says U in the sort of middle column right there, just click on all of the plus signs until our level gets up to 105 plus, And that will give us the maximum survivor achievement. You've got infinite stats on, so it really doesn't matter what you put it into. So just go nuts. Do it. Oh, if only it worked in real life that easy, huh? Everyone's life would be a lot easier. But what we're going to be doing now is doing a little bit of flying. So again, back under the cheats. Um, type in, uh, again, if you feel like uh, something's going wrong, I'm typing it back in because it's telling me that I'm going to die soon. So, you know, it's always worth just uh, keeping an eye on it. Press your admin command and then, ah, there we go. So we're good. Apparently we're going to freeze to death in the sunshine. Okay, makes sense. Happy days. So back onto it then, like I said, we are going to be doing a, a bit of flying now. Um, this is the kind of longest achievement in the game. A bit, of, bit annoying, to be honest, but type in summon slash tero, but that's P-T-E-R-O, P-T-E-R-O, underscore character, underscore BP, underscore C. So that's summon space tero, or P tero. <laughs> underscore character, underscore BP, underscore C. And obviously what that's going to do is give us a pterodactyl. And again, just like with the previous two dinosaurs, as soon as it appears, you need to quickly look at it, quickly press the pause button, and then use the force tame cheat to chill it out before it pecks your pecker off. So up into the cheats again, F-O-R-C-E-T-A-M-E. And then we can ride it all night long, baby. Which we are going to be doing because for this next achievement, we need to basically cover 80% of the map. And it can take a little bit of time. So, press Y to get on it. And what we're actually going to be doing first is getting the maximum level for a dinosaur. So, again, back up into the cheats. Uh, just like the last one, it is add experience 9999999. Space zero, space zero. So 
add experience, space, eight nines, space zero, space zero. And again, just like we did with our um, male character or human character, we need to just get all, uh, put all of the plus points into whatever until our dinosaur is at level 75 and until the maximum dinosaur achievement unlocks. So here we go then, let's do some flying. Now, what you need to do, basically, if you were to just leave, if you were to just fly around, it's basically gonna be slow and incredibly painful. So back in the cheats menu, type in SLO MO space seven. And basically it's going to, it's basically at the speed. So it should really be called fast mode, but it's, that's okay. So when you type it in and we press back, you can see that we are now speeding up. So Head up, keep heading up. What you need to do first though, I'm still showing you this bit anyway, because basically we need to be typing in the infinite stats cheat as well, because after a while the dinosaur is going to get a bit knackered and fly down like so. So before you obviously start flying around, again, type in slow-mo 7. Always make sure to type in slow-mo 7 so we're going really fast, but always type in God so uh, nothing comes to harm for your dinosaur, and the infinite stats. Make sure to put those two in, so nothing will touch you, nothing will kill you, and obviously you will never run out of stamina, because trying to trying to uncover 80% of quite a big map, with your dinosaur getting knackered every sort of 30 to 40 seconds, well, it kind of pisses you off after quite the while. So, a few other tips to make this go a lot easier. If you get a new dinosaur and press the back button, that will basically, the minimap, your minimap, sorry, that will basically appear. Pressing the right, right bumper goes into first person and then clicking in the left stick makes your dinosaur go faster. So if you click in, click the back button while you're flying on your dinosaur, you can now see where the map is, just making this a hell of a lot easier. So, and again, obviously I've, I was, for some reason, they kept screwing up for me big time. So always make sure you've got infinite stats on, god mode on, uh, slow-mo 7 to make it go quicker, back button brings up your map, right bumper puts you in first person view, which is just easier. And if you want to go even a little bit faster, click in the left stick as well. And then all you've got to do with all them good and ready to go, all you need to do then is just go around the entire map, including all of the you know, in even the <laughs> lower and higher bits of all the corners, you need to get stuck right in there. And then after a while, it should eventually unlock. Sometimes a lot of people have said that it takes about 90% of the map. As you can see, my map is almost basically uncovered. But we finally do get there in the end. So as long as you've done those sort of five, the two cheats, well, the three including slow-mo seven if you want, then we should be good to go. But when you've uncovered more than 80% of the minimap, get the map maker achievement, go back, type in slow-mo space one, that'll put everything back down to normal, which again, if you don't need to ride this son, son of a biash, just makes life a lot easier. But what we're gonna be doing now, we're gonna be doing the sort of, what seems to be the only miscellaneous achievement in the game. And to do that, go back onto the cheat, type in GFI, all capitals, space, QLO, C, capital C, U R E L O W, space one, space zero, space zero, and that basically gives us an antidote, which we need to cure ourselves of being sucked off by a leech, a blood sucked off by a leech, <laughs> of course. So when we fly down and eventually get there, uh, you can check if the antidote is in there, but it should be, it should be right at the bottom. 
And then what we need to do then, go back onto your Cheat Obini menu, and then type in Cheat Space Summon Leech underscore character underscore diseased underscore C. So that's Cheat Space Summon, and then Space again, capital L. I'm not really sure if the capitals are important, but you know, just copy, it's always best to just copy it exactly like I do anyway. So, leech underscore character, again, with the capital C. And then underscore diseased, again, with the capital D. That's D-I-S-E-A-S-E-D. Yeah, you can see it all on screen anyway. And then underscore C, uh, capital C once again. And this is what I mean by, if you've got the app, you can just literally type this out a hell of a lot quicker. I was doing it with the controller just for the video, so it's a bit slow. But as you can see, the leech should now suck, start sucking you off dry, which we don't want. So go down to, uh, press B to go back into your menu, uh, into your inventory, and then click the right trigger on the antidote. And that will basically unlock the achievement. So press B to go into your inventory, go down to the... Uh, antidote press the right trigger and that's how you use things on the game uh, you will probably have to quit right here to get rid of the little guy because you know he's constantly sucking and you know after after a while we all go floppy you know so um, <coughs> anyway moving on so quit out and go back into the game there's only so much sucking off you can do and leeches go for hours fair play to him so it can be a bit glitchy, that achievement as well. So you may potentially have to turn off God Mode and turn off Infinite Stats and then try it that way if it doesn't unlock. But it unlocked for me with all things on anyway, so it should be fine. So we're basically almost done with the main portion of the game before we get into the DLC stuff. And all we're going to be doing now is killing some big old bitch boy boss boys. Bosses. So the first one that we need to be doing then, uh, we're going to be getting the spider. So back into your cheats. Of course it's always worth doing uh, God, the God cheat, the infinite stats cheat, and the leave me alone cheat as well. You don't have to do the leave me alone one as long as you've got God and infinite stats up. But there's basically little little bits of creatures that, that are still going to attack you. Uh, the, you know, the little minions, the little... The little wieners of the spider and other boss worlds so it's obviously worth it if you don't want them to attack you but if you don't that's up to you but what we're going to be basically putting in now is summon once again s-u-m-m-o-n space spider capital l so spider as you normally would s-p-i-d-e-r and then a capital l And then underscore character, C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E-R. -A -A -E you know, you've spelled it enough, you should you should know by now anyway, shouldn't you? And then underscore BP underscore C. Now, it's very important that you've actually, when we go back off the menu, what we need to do is just leave the spider sort of move around just for about five or six seconds or so. Because if you just go ahead and type in the kill command straight away, the game will not pick it up, will not recognize that the boss spider is there, and the achievement won't unlock, so you have you just have to type it in again, that's all. So But as long as you got God mode on, you should be good. So leave it wander around for about 10 seconds or so. Look at the big spider, press the kill command, admin command, and then that will be the first achievement unlock in there, the veteran survivor achievement. Now again. I thought all the little wiener spiders were going to stop attacking us. Oh, they're in love. They're in love with us. So this is where the leave me alone cheat might come in handy so they can piss red earth. Either way, we're going to be doing the second boss now, which is Am's Gorilla. So again, it is summon. And then space. Gorilla. G-O-R-I-L-L-A underscore character underscore BP underscore C just like it was with the spider just now
And just like the spider, remember to make to just sort of leave the gorilla for about ten, you know, five to ten seconds. Let him move around a bit on screen. Gorilla staff falling from the sky. This is truly the planet of the apes. Um, and then nobble on. Ah, my pterodactyl died, you son of a bitch. And then press the kill command anyway. You rightly deserve that after killing my hard-earned cheating pterodactyl. You goddamn asshole. But now we've got a whole bunch of gorillas and spiders after us, so... You know, in reality, that is a shit scary situation. But, um, yeah, congratulations on working hard to kill these bosses. It's, it's hard typing. It's bloody difficult. And for the third and final boss, anyway, we're going to be summoning a dragon. Which is, you know, sounds about right. All these creatures are happening about. But what we'll be doing then is summon space dragon. And then, again, underscore character. Underscore BP. Eventually, and you can really see why it will take you not as long as I'm taking right here. <laughs> underscore boss. And then underscore C. And then, of course, leave it for 5, 10 seconds or so, and then use the kill command on him. And then we've just got to do a, collect a couple of artifacts. And what's that in? That's in just roughly around half an hour, so not bad. Damn, that is... That's some big old arms. Dragons on steroids, yo. And there we have it then, so they are the three steroid-infused animals that we have killed. Bang on, well done everyone, well done, it's, it's hard, hard half hour, I bet that was for you. Um, but I've only just gone back into the, I've only gone and started a new game because I was fed up of all these gorillas and spiders chasing me because I'm so hot. You know, remember my character, my personal character is a big old, you know, elephant man looking dude, so... Hey, gorillas, gorillas like that stuff, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just making it up. <laughs> anyway, the last bit that we're going to be doing now on this sort of main game before we get into the DLC is now get the uh, collectibles, the artifacts. So, what we need to do then, there are 11 different ones that we need to type in. So, the f so what we need to do, type in admin cheat, all one word, that one. So, admin cheat, space, summon... Space Artifact Crate, that's A-R-T-I-F-A-C-T-C-R-A-T-E, -A so Artifact Crate, all one word, and then underscore one, and eventually, there we go, so underscore one, and then underscore C. So admin cheat, space summon, space artifact crate, underscore one, underscore C. Now what that will do, it will spawn um, an artifact right here. So kind of try and space it out a little bit. Don't put them all in one because we need to actually click on each individual one a little bit later on. Now we need to get 11. So all, literally the only thing that we need to change is just the number. So we need to go through one, two, three, four, all the way up to 11. So you don't have to keep typing in admin cheat, blah, blah, blah. So literally, that's all you need to do. So again, press the left or right bumper so you don't accidentally delete all of the text. And then press, obviously, admin command when that one comes up. Sort of go to the left or the right or do it in a circle as I do. And just keep going until you get all 11 artifacts for the moment. But again, the achievement won't unlock there. We, we actually have to move them into our inventory. And I'll show you what to do in just a wee old while.
Right then, so it was this part where some people may have got confused, but what we actually need to do now, as long as we've got all 11 out, press Y when you're next to an artifact, and then don't worry about your inventory, just go over to where it says U and structure in the middle, the sort of middle menu there, and then just press the A button. That That is literally it, the A or the, I think it's the A or the B button, sorry, I kind of forget which one, but it is, I'm pretty sure it's the A button. So that's all you've got to do, and that is what actually unlocks you the achievement. It's no good just spawning them, you've got to press Y when you're next to one, scroll over to the middle menu where it says U and structure at the top, and then press the A button, and that is what gets us the achievement. And that is what will actually get us the Apex Predator achievement for unlocking all achievements as well. Even though we haven't unlocked all the achievements yet, so... Nice! So, whoop, whoop, got the base, base game done, base game done, oh yeah, base game done. Now we only got five achievements left, and three of them we can actually get with extremely quick codes right now. Um, now, now these five are part of the title update DLC achievements, whether they add some more later on, not too entirely sure yet, but for now it's still 1500, easy. So, first thing we need to do then, type in cheat space player command, so that's P-L-A-Y-E-R-C-O-M-M-A-N-D, that's all one word, so cheat space player command, space ascend one, with a capital A, A-S-C-E-N-D one, and that will immediately just unlock us through the achievement, and that is basically um, for us getting off the arc on easy mode, more or less. So we basically have to do uh, another two codes, which will get us the medium achievement and the hard achievement. That, that's it, and then we've got two achievements left, which, importantly, now this is... Basically, there's 90 animals that we have to tame to get this achievement. Now, doing it with the Xbox controller like I've done is going to take forever, but there is a little... So basically, we can just start the menu sorry just going off on a tangent here but we can just go back into it all you got to do is click on your character name and then just download it again press the start button we are good to go but this is like i said this is where having a pc keyboard or more importantly the xbox app so you can use the keyboard on the xbox app it will be very important because we can actually do it in blocks of 10 rather than typing out 90 individual codes which comes in handy but more on that in just a second so again, when we start, remember it's the X, Y, left bumper and right bumper, all at the same time to get your cheat menu up. And it is, again, cheat, space, player command, space, ascend, two. So you don't actually have to type it all out again, you can just get rid of the one, type in the two, and it literally is as easy as that. So that is the uh, second achievement out of three, out of the sort of difficulty levels. And you can assume where we're going with this one then, so as soon as you get back into it, X, Y, left bumper, right bumper, at the pause menu, get your cheat menu back up, and then it's cheat player command ascend 3. So you don't have to type that out, just press the left or right bumper, delete the number, type in 3, and that'll be all the 3 difficulty related achievements done. Yeah boy! Love it, don't we just love it? But, like I said, when we do this, make sure to have something that will sort of uh, tame these monsters a little easier so you don't have to write out 90 individual codes because it is a pain in the butt. But what I'm going to do 
is so there we go so that's the three difficulty related achievements done sorry i do keep going off on a tangent but what i'm going to do now is write all nine blocks out on the screen here and i will put them in the description box below the video too so you can easily copy and paste all nine blocks into your xbox app keyboard you should see it appear on your screen when you do it that way as well or if you're playing it on pc again easily copy and pasted but again, it will go in the description box below, not the comment section, if you're wondering where the hell that went. Also, one more thing, if you are going to be doing it on the Xbox app, to copy and paste, go on to this video, this video that you're watching, on an actual YouTube web browser on your phone. That seems to be the only way you can copy and paste, for some reason, you cannot copy and paste on the YouTube app, which is goddamn annoying. Sadly though, if you have got just a controller, you will need to input all 90 codes. No. So, to summarise, 90 animals, 90 codes, done in blocks of 10, copy and paste exactly what I've put on screen and in the description box below the video, get YouTube web browser up to copy and paste easier, do all 9, achievement unlocks, fun times had by all, baby. But this is what you should see when you input the first 10 blocks in. So again, th what I'm currently doing right now, copy and paste in on the Xbox keyboard app, and then it should all just come up all as one, including the lines in the middle of them. So when you do that, go on admin command, and then all 10 animals will pop up. Um, <laughs> annoyingly, for some reason, I cannot move. Um, it, it shouldn't... It didn't make a difference in terms of lag or anything, but I just couldn't move and the screen just got incredibly full after inputting all 90 animals. So, like I said, I'm going to be putting it, putting all the codes up on screen right now or in just a, a little while. And remember, they are in the description box below for you to copy and paste in it. I know I've said it a couple of times, but, you know, it's just in case you misheard me the for the first four or five times. Okay then, so that should be that. Apologies for the sort of lazy um, on-screen telling you to go to the description box, but trust me, it it would would have just been a lot easier to tell you where to go to copy and paste instead of having it on screen there. But like I said, in the description box below, copy and paste it all. Don't delete anything, and you should be good. So now we can go into custom marks, and now we can we'll finally be able to go to the center. So. If you've done everything through the game so far, you should now be able to go to the center. That is where we're going to be getting the final two achievements, or the final achievement, sorry. And originally, it was supposed to be get a bunch of artifacts, go around, do a couple of things, and then you're able to kill the two bosses needed to be able to get the achievement. But, as we just uh, name our... <laughs> Our character, and you know I'm going to do something stupid, which I did. Yeah, so our new name is Cheesy Cock. If, <laughs> if that's okay. Yeah, Cheesy Cock it is. Happy days. <laughs> you got to love it. you got to have it. So again, when you're here, obviously get in the God, Infinite Stats, and Leave Me Alone cheats as well. So you obviously don't get attacked or harmed. But yeah, as I said, originally it was supposed to be you had to go up hill up the center, um, get a bunch of artifacts, do a couple of different things, kill these two bosses, and then jobs are good. But 
thanks to T5527 on trueachievements.com, what a site by the way, there is a hell of an easier way. And there's only, we have to literally put in three, we have to put in three codes, use the to kill uh, command as well, and then it's literally that. So that just saves a hell of a lot of time and you can do it within another five minutes. So that's what we're going to be doing. So screw you weird looking turtle, dinosaur looking thing. So first one that we're going to put in, type in teleport space to space cheat space summon now i don't actually know if you've got to put teleport 2 in here but i did it anyway and it seemed to work anyway so teleport space 2 space cheat space summon and then it's space boss teleport so b-o-s-s-t-e-l-e-p-o-r-t -S Eventually we will get there and we will do it. Uh, right, there we go. Underscore two bosses uh, with the T B and a capital. So T W O B O S S E S. That's two bosses. And then underscore spider gorilla underscore C. And that's going to transport us. We're basically the point where we need to get is a a sort of Chinese themed looking area. So as soon as we get there, the bosses are in that sort of level and we just go and use the kill command to end the game. So Spider Gorilla right here, they are kind of a bit of a paint to type out and then underscore C, that's gonna transport us first of all. Awesome, so once we get transported to this little delightful looking area, we know there's always going to be shit that's going to try and kill you. Not when we got God Mode on, no, honey. But the next one we need to do then is, uh, again, it's Cheat Summon. So basically, you don't actually have to delete what I just deleted there, which is annoying. So all we have to do is type Cheat Summon Boss Teleport underscore two bosses underscore spider gorilla underscore medium underscore c so you don't actually have to get rid of that all you need to do is get rid of the teleport two from the first one and then add medium uh, underscore medium after the spider gorilla that's all you got to do and that's going to transport us again And then for the final one, go back into your cheat menu, and then all we're doing is just replacing the word medium with the word hard. <laughs> that can mean two things. You dirty git. But of course, like an idiot, I deleted that one as well. So just don't do what I did and delete it. All we're doing, again, it's cheat, space, summon, space, boss, teleport, underscore two bosses, underscore spider gorilla, underscore hard underscore C. So that's all you're doing is replacing the word medium with the word hard or oh, baby. And then that is what should actually get us now to our really beautiful actually looking Chinese place. And all we need to do is take a little walk down to the bottom, use the kill commands and the game is finally done.
So then, this is the area that we need. Now, the first time I came here, it actually transported me back to the center. So if it does that, just type in again the cheat summon boss teleport two bosses spider gorilla hard C. And then that should transport you back here. But that's just in case, like I said, it transported me back the first time. So all we're doing then, we just need to run all the way down to the bottom now. Use the kill commands and that is finally, finally done. I say finally, it's been a fun, it's been a fun hour, right? We've had a laugh, we've had some laughs. There's the gorilla statue and some windy trees and stuff. Now, of course, if you want to put infinite stats in so you actually go a little bit quicker instead of being gassed after about one second, then, of course, that's completely up to you. But you'll just start to see old King Dong and Spider McSpidery face in the distance. There they are. <laughs> Why don't you run to me and try to kill me and make it easier for me? Fine, you son of a bitches, I'm here, I'm here. So make sure you're tagged in at the gorilla or spider, type in the kill command, and that will finally be that. Nice. So what you've got now is 1,500 gamer score from Xbox Game Pass again. And like I said, doing it this way, this is the updates at the minute. Um, they, they, keep, they do keep constantly updating the game, making it a little bit... Uh, they have made it easier, to be honest, instead of having to type in random codes, etc, etc. So again, use the kill command on the spider. That'll be the two of them done. And that is 1,500 over 1,500 gamer scores. So, awesome. So, I really, really hope this guide has helped. And again, we've had a few good laughs. But most importantly, that everything I've shown you is what's happened to you as well and you haven't had to do anything extra because you know sometimes with lag and other glitches and stuff but hopefully you should have got absolutely everything in the video like i've done so thank you so so much for watching guys and gals don't forget of course to like comment share and subscribe also check me out on my socials i'm on twitter instagram and patreon and speaking of which big shout out to all my patreon supporters especially tim g84 thank you all very very much but i'll see you in the next one guys and gals big love